Over the years, we, we raised Hereford cows, we cut fence posts, milked cows, shipped cream to Cochrane, did just about everything that we could to survive. And Dad always said that he was going to go on welfare because everything else he went into went belly up and he had fixed the system for everybody. But he never ever did that one, so we still have it. <laughs> when I was about 14, we were out fixing our building fence and we had a fence between us and our neighbors, Larson sisters. And of course, I was driving the post by hand with a post mall and I got elected to run the post mall because I was taller than dad and I could not pound posts. I'd shatter the tops and I'd look back where these two sisters had been cutting or pounding posts. Beautiful tops, not splintered. So I eventually got so I could pound a post without splintering the top. And it was after that that I found out they went along with a saw and cut the tops off so they looked nice and neat. So, but I, I did learn how to pound posts. When we first moved out to the, to the ranch, the government built a road into our place so that sister and I could go to school. And at the time, there was water ruts in the road going down the hill into our place that were close to three feet deep. You had to take and put rails in there to corduroy it so you could get down the hill, let alone up. When it rained, you didn't go anywhere. You just stayed put. And at the, at the time that this all was taking place, we were an improvement district. It wasn't a municipal district. And Rocky View had the the grader come in and, and maintain the road after it had been built up. And there was a fellow by the name of Lynn Fenton was the grader operator, and he kept the roads perfect. He wasn't afraid to go out and take a look and see whether the roads needed to be graded, and he didn't have to be back at 4 o'clock to shut it down. He kept on until the roads were good, and I think we had the best roads in the, the whole country I know that my relatives coming from around Langdon area wanted to know how come we had such good roads and they had such bad ones, but it was all on the greater operator. Well, I went to Westbrook School to begin with, and in uh, 1967 they closed the high school, and then I ended up going to Cochrane for the last two years. Probably the only reason I graduated because I was having so much fun at Cochrane that I stayed with it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the, the school bus came up and picked us up. And then uh, when I started at Cochrane, there was no school bus. And so I drove in the first day. I'm in class when I get called to the office and I think, what did I do? I haven't done anything yet. And they asked how I got there. And I told them I drove. And by the end of that week, I was a school bus driver for five girls. It, then the school bus come and picked up two of those, and so I continued for the school year to drive three of them to school, which I was been 16, 17, just got my driver's license. It would never happen today. 